Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, and welcome to The Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. My name is Vikas, and today I'll be speaking about TensorFlow object detection and how we used it to detect and count number of vehicles with a DJI Spark drone. The agenda for today entails giving an overview of how the TensorFlow object detection is used on a live video feed transmitted from the DJI drone to detect and count vehicles on road. Also having a look into what is TensorFlow and how it is used in object detection. Then we speak a bit about technologies and specification that were used to implement this application followed by a detailed description about the architecture. Then we speak about the hardware specification being used here. I will end the session with a quick live demo along with a couple of use cases or the scenario where this can be implemented. With the rapid growth in computing power, AI and machine learning are gaining more popularity and companies are taking advantage of these technologies in almost every computing industry and one such technology is object detection. Designing a machine learning model that is capable enough to identify and localize an object in an image or a video is the core challenger of computer vision. Google came up with state-of-the-art object detection API built on top of TensorFlow framework that makes training and deploying object detection model easy. We make use of TensorFlow Object Detection API to detect and count number of vehicles on road or a parking facility. We retrained one of the existing popular deep learning models provided by Google TensorFlow which is used for object detection with our custom dataset. The trained model is used on live video stream from DJI drone to perform object detection. The stream video is processed and the model is run on a GPU powered machine. We also make use of OpenCV to draw boxes on the detected objects or vehicles, which will be shown during the live demo. Here we discuss a little bit about TensorFlow. What is TensorFlow? TensorFlow, it is an open source library providing strong support for deep learning and machine learning, mainly used for high performance numerical computation. Originally, it was developed by Google's brain team to conduct machine learning and neural network researches. TensorFlow provides primitive for defining functions on tensors and automatically compute their derivatives. This is nothing but it provides an extensive suite of functions and classes that allows users to build various models from the scratch. Here we use TensorFlow object detection to perform transfer learning. What is transfer learning? Transfer learning is nothing but it is retraining an object detection model. We use transfer learning to retrain faster RCNN inception model with our custom dataset to detect and count the vehicles in an area. We selected faster RCNN model after testing several other models as it demonstrated higher accuracy. Now moving on to the technology stack, the technologies that we use are Python. The Python is the main programming language used to write scripts for training and main object detection. We used TensorFlow framework for training, testing, and deploying our main object detection model. And then finally, we used OpenCV to draw boxes around the detected objects in the video frame. And it also shows the count of the objects with their names. Now, coming to the specification and hardware requirements, we used DJI Spark drone to fly it above the parking area of facility and stream the live video over RTMP network to a GPU powered machine. The GPU powered machine was configured with Nginx and RTMP module to receive this live video stream. The GPU machine is a Windows machine with 16 GB of RAM, i7 processor and mainly an NVIDIA 1080 GTX GPU with 8 GB of DDR5 video memory. Moving on to the architecture. We performed data collection, that is collecting images of parked cars from a parking facility using the DJI drone's camera. The collected images were pre-processed to have uniform dimensions. Then we labeled all the objects in the image. The objects were nothing but 
car. We then trained several deep net object detection models and tested for accuracy and speed. The training method used is known as transfer learning, where we retrain an existing model or deep neural network that is trained on millions of data already by only retraining the last layer of the network with our own custom data. By doing this, it will not wipe out what the model or deep network has learned from the previous training, rather it will use the knowledge from the previous training to learn the information supplied to it on the last layer and converge faster to produce accurate results. We trained and tested several models and the model that gave us best performance for our scenario is faster our CNN inception model. Now the same drone is flown above the interested parking facility with the live video stream enabled over RTMP network. This live stream is received by a GPU powered Windows machine which is pre-configured with RTMP and NGINX module to receive this stream. This live stream is fed to the custom train TensorFlow object detection model. This outputs the detected object by drawing a box around every vehicle and also displays the count of every object. We also added additional class that is the class of person. That is our model is trained and capable to detect people as well. Now let's see the drone in action. Let's talk a bit about where this technology can be utilized. There are several useful applications and some of the major ones are as follows. We can use this technology to non-invasively estimate crowd in an arena to count the attendance. And we can use this technology to count number of cars parked in the parking facilities. It can be used in remote area. Those are difficult to be accessed by humans for search and rescue operation. It can be used in large industrial plants to keep a check on machinery or pipelines for any anomaly. Also, we are seeing a significant growth in drone usage in the field of agriculture. One important use case is we can deploy these drones in large field to check the fertility of the soil by collecting image and performing image recognition or image analysis. Now, this will eliminate the mundane task of humans walking or exploring these fields to check the fertility of the soil. Another use case could be tracking the speed of the vehicles on the highway or it can be used to track vehicles on road. The DJI Spark drone is operated by one of our trained and licensed operator. The drone is flown above the interested parking facility to detect the number of cars parked. The video is live streamed to a GPU machine where real-time analysis occur. This video you are seeing is the output that is seen on the GPU machine. Here you can see the real-time analysis or object detection occurring on the GPU machine. It is detecting the car by drawing boxes around them with the name and the confidence. It also gives the count of the car which can be seen on the top left corner. Also when it detects person, it draws box around them and then gives the count of the number of people in this frame as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.